how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well i have been using one ui 4.0 from the last couple of months on my s21 ultra but now samsung has started rolling out this update to many other devices like the galaxy a52 a52s a72 s20 s20 fe and even for the s10 series of smartphones with that being said today i will be showing you some deep hidden features of one ui 4.0 that i'm sure not many of you have noticed all these features are super useful and you are not going to find them anywhere else. With that being said, make sure you watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for 1500 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. If I want to share a picture or any file to my friends, I just need to tap on the share icon and now you see how my share panel looks very clean and it shows only few applications that I use to share media on my phone. Instead of showing all the unnecessary applications, you can easily customize and make it look better. All you have to do is simply click on this more option and tap on this edit icon. Once you are done, you only get your favorite applications and just click on more to see all the applications that you have on your phone. With One UI 4.0, Samsung has added this useful feature that allows you to choose which apps should use your exact location and the apps that only needs access to your approximate location. To do this, all you need to do is go to settings and then go inside location permissions. From here you can select all the applications for which you want to give access to your precise location. So if you are not comfortable giving precise location to some third party applications, then you can just go to location settings and use this feature. I get a lot of questions asking me how to apply Android 12 widgets on your Samsung device. These widgets are exclusive to Pixel devices and Samsung did not add them in Android 12. To get these kind of widgets on your Samsung device, just go to the Play Store and search Google Clock. It's a free application. Make sure you download and install it on your phone. Now just press and hold on your home screen. Go to widgets. Here you will see two different clock widgets. Just click on the first one and you will get access to six beautiful clock widgets. Simply drag it down to your home screen. This way you can easily add Android 12 official widgets on your Samsung phone. Next, if I go to settings, notifications, under screen flash notifications, you now have this new option that lets you choose different colors for different applications. For example, if you want the screen flash for only YouTube, then I can select YouTube and change the color to red. I will have this red flash blinking over my phone screen. If you want, you can also enable camera flash notifications that basically flash the camera light whenever you receive any notifications. Well, this was already there in One UI 3.1, but the new feature that has been added is the ability to choose different colors for different applications. Next is how you can activate the Grammarly extension on your Samsung keyboard that will auto-correct your mistakes and improve your typing experience. Just go to your keyboard settings and then go inside third-party apps to use. Now you will see an option called Grammarly which is disabled by default. Just go ahead and turn it on. In case if you are unable to see this option, then just select languages and types. Go inside more input languages and change it to English US. Now if you go back, you will have this brand new Grammarly option that will definitely enhance your typing experience. Well, I have already talked about extra dim feature in one of my previous video. This basically dims your phone screen more than usual. But if you really want to customize it even further, simply tap below the icon and go inside details. Here you can easily adjust the intensity of the dimness. You can reduce during daytime and increase at night. Not only this, if you click on extra dim shortcut, you now have this shortcut on your screen that lets you easily enable or disable this feature. Instead of going to your notification panel and searching for this toggle, you can easily do it by enabling this shortcut. Another useful change that I really like is when I go to settings, battery and device care, you now have this option called diagnostics. This was previously available inside the members application. I am glad Samsung has added this feature inside the phone setting. So now more people can easily access it without the need of installing one extra application. What it does is, it basically lets you perform different tests on your phone. You can test each and every function by simply tapping on these icons and make sure that your phone is running fine. You can check battery health, mobile networks, sensors, touchscreen buttons, camera speakers or any other components within a few minutes of time. I think it's a very useful feature that has been moved to your phone setting. Finally, let's talk about some minor changes that many of you didn't notice. When you apply dark mode from the settings, not only it dims the icons on your screen, but even the notifications are also dark which matches the entire theme. Apart from this, they have also added one option to reduce the blur effect that you see whenever you go to app drawer or swipe down the notification. Just go to accessibility and then to visual enhancement. 
Here you get a brand new option that says reduce transparency and blur. Simply turn it on to reduce the blur effect. So that's it for this video. These are some amazing features of One UI 4.0 that I'm sure most of you didn't notice before. If you guys liked this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.